Hi, my name is Rick Cornish, and I'm representing the California Bluegrass Association on this very, very special day, February 22nd, 2008. It's special because today is the first annual Desert Island Dog Biscuit Drawing that the CBA has conducted. We've had about 60 people contribute to us. Uh, a list of three songs or three albums each that they would take to a desert island if they were going to be stranded there. And today we're going to pick one of those 60 people, one of those lucky 60 people to win a four-day comp pass to our Father's Day Festival. And the way that we're going to do that is that we've got 60 dog biscuits out on the deck over there. But we're in Jamestown, California here. And each one is numbered, and there's a corresponding number to each of those 60 people. So we're going to take onto that deck six fierce, vicious Labrador retrievers, and they're going to start devouring, ravaging those. Would you stand over there, please? Just a ravaging those dog biscuits and the last dog biscuit to survive is going to be the number on the last dog biscuit to survive is going to be the winner of our drawing the winner of our drawing so before we begin the drawing the exciting drawing i'd first like to introduce you to our six drawees or drawers and those would be our six good dog friends can i have the first dog come over here please alex would you step over here, please? <laughs> Alex. Come on, Alex. This, Come on, uh, Alex. this first dog is named Alex. And Alex is more or less the senior, senior judge today. And Alex is, is the team, the judging team captain, and he'll be in charge. And Alex is a Labrador retriever who is 12 years old. And he's just about the best dog that's ever been. So that's number one. Rudy, would you come here? This next dog is Rudy, and he's on the other end of the doggy scale. He's only eight months old, and he's got yellow eyes and a red nose. And Rudy's the youngest member of our team, and he's going to make sure that there's nothing left of any of the dog biscuits. This is the third dog on our team. He's another Labrador Retriever. His name is Edward. We call him Eddie. He's four years old, soon to be five. And he's probably the most athletic bunch of the six dogs. Now we're going to go to our girls. We don't call them bitches. We call them girls. And the first of our girls is named Stella. Stella? And as you may notice, Stella is almost a Labrador Retriever. She's half lab. She's got, well, she's all lab except one ear that goes the wrong way. And she's been brought over by her lovely friend Peg, and Peg, thanks for bringing Stella, and she's the, probably about the same age as our next. She just turned And this two. is the gorgeous, gorgeous Emily, and Emily's last name is Scholler, <laughs> and she was brought over by my neighbor Richard Scholler, and Emily, you want to look over here? Emily is three, and she is a babe, and now we're going to take a short break and bring out the last of our girls. Important announcement. So we've got an important announcement to make. Today, instead of having six Labrador Retrievers do the drawing, we're going to have five because Tiva, who's a black Labrador lady, uh, is not comfortable getting out of the truck. And we understand that. So she's going to be here and draw, draw her spirit. So now we're off to the deck. Alex, I think, is about to see one of the dog biscuits. Alex, here's a dog biscuit over here. Look. Emily, come here, girl. Emily. Oh, look at how little they Emily, are. Oh, thank God. Emily, you don't want to miss this girl. Come on, Stella. Come here, Em. Eddie knows what it is. <laughs> no, 
Okay, we're down, we're down to three lucky. That's it. Is that it? Yep. And the lucky winner is number 28. And we'll tell you a little, a little later. Wait, I'm sorry, number 38. We'll tell you. Oops. We'll tell you a little bit later, as soon as we look at our spreadsheet and see who number 38 is. Now, we just want to remind you, if you didn't win this year, don't lose spirit. There's a good chance that you can win next year. But you need to come to the 2008 Father's Day Festival in order to be eligible to be in the Desert Island Dog Biscuit Contest next year. So see you all at Grass Valley in June. Okay, this is Rick Cornish, and we're back for round two of the incredible uh, Desert Island Dog Biscuit drawing. And the reason we're having a round two is that once we picked number 38 and went inside and matched it up, we realized that the organizer of this contest, whose, whose name uh, uh, we're not going to use here because we don't want to embarrass him, forgot to delete all of the officers and people associated with the CBA and their families who were ineligible to win this. And so we went all the way from 60 down to 30 people. And I was just going to kind of phony it up and pick something randomly. But the cameraman, Ron Cottenham, is... Uh, He's just not that kind of guy. He's not the kind of guy that, that, I, that I am. And so he insisted that the only way we were going to get any footage is if we renumbered, we numbered 30 dog biscuits, and we had the dogs do it again. Well, of course, we lost two of our dogs because they left. So this is just going to be Rudy and Eddie and Alex, my dogs. But this is the real deal. These, You 30 people, you're in my hands. And are we ready, cameraman? Here we go. Come here, Alex. Now that took, I'm guessing, less than eight seconds. And the winner is 13. So now we're going to go into the computer room and we're gonna see who number 13 is. And I just want to apologize for the jerk who left those other names on, whose name is gonna remain silent. Cool. Dave Nielsen, number 13. Congratulations, Dave Nielsen. You've won a four-day comp to the Father's Day Festival. And I just want to promise all of our members and entrants that when we do this again next year, I'll organize it and not the dummy that made that stupid mistake whose name we're not going to mention.